Well, good evening. This is lesson 8-7, and what we're going to do is we're going to put together um, um, linear equations to make a system. And all system sounds like a fancy word. All it really means is we're going to graph two different lines at the same time. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to graph two lines. We're going to see where they cross. That is the solution. Uh, I have a guest that just walked in, so Alice is going to help me with this video. Hello. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Um, I've already gone ahead and drawn an axis here. Um, and so remember the bare minimum, we have to label X and Y. You've got to put arrows on the axes. You've got to label at least a couple tick marks. Um, in this case, I'm clearly counting by ones. I put tick marks every two, and I labeled every other one. So four, oh, actually, I, made, I thought, just saw a mistake. That's supposed to be an eight. I think it's just a stylus mistake, but that should have been... Uh, an eight. All right, so let's go ahead and let's uh, put two different equations on here. Um, let's go ahead and take the equation, uh, and I'm going to color code these. So the green one is going to be y equals negative x plus six, and then let's also do a red one. And for that equation, we'll do um, let's do y equals three x minus two. Okay. Now the nice thing about both of these equations is they're both in what format. Y equals mx plus b, right? Yeah. Okay, so the green one, the slope, there's no number there, but it's obviously a slope of negative 1, right? And the y-intercept is 6. So let's graph that one. So let's count up to 6. That's going to be right here. Yeah. Agreed? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, go up 0, go up the y-axis to 6, and the slope is negative 1. So negative 1 is going downhill uh, at a 45-degree slope, so I can pretty much just draw that one freehand. Um, and that's kind of what it's going to look like right there, okay? Uh, sure enough, I go down one, right one, down one, right one, down one, right one, down one, right one. Um, and if I kept going, it would be on all these points. You just kind of go down diagonally. Uh, it's a perfectly uh, straight 45-degree line, okay? All right, the red equation has a slope of 3, which is a positive slope, and a y-intercept of negative 2. Okay, so that's going to start down here at negative 2. Okay, and it's going to have a slope of 3, so we go up 3 over 1 to the right, go up 3 over 1 to the right, go up 3 over 1 to the right, or I could go down 3 left 1, right? Down 3 left 1. Okay, and if I make that into a line, okay, Oop, let me change the color here, let's change it to red. Okay, here we go. And so now, when I draw the line, sure enough, right up through those points. And it's kind of, the stylus is kind of jumping around on me. There you go. All right. So that's the second line. So let's go ahead and put arrows on it. Now, you have to label both your lines. So we pretty much have, because this one is this label right here, right? And this one is this label right here. Okay. So that's that line. And the green one is right here. All right, now what we're looking for now is where do the two lines cross? And so what point is that, Alice? That is... The X is... Two. Two, and the Y is... Five, nope. no, no, four. Four, yep, two, four. So the two lines crossed at two, four. So what you just found is a solution to the system of equations. In other words, you found the point that is on both of the lines, where the lines cross. Now, let's check it. So in green, we'll put it down here in quadrants uh, 3 and 4. In green, uh, let's put, so we have y equals negative x plus 6. So let's put um, the y is 4, okay? The x was 2, so it's negative of 2 plus 6. And sure enough, 6 plus negative 2 will equal 4. 4 equals 4. So that one checked, okay? And let's check the red equation. And if I check the red equation, um, again, uh, let's put 4 in for y, and it's 3 times 2. So it's going to be 6 minus 2, and sure enough, 6 minus 2 is 4, so 4 equals 4. Okay, and so both cases are checked. Now, the checks happen to come out both the same numbers. They don't have to. So this one checks if 4 equals 4, or 3 equals 3, or 5 equals 5. It doesn't matter. Okay, so that is solving a system. Uh, and what we're doing here is we're solving by graphing. Now, there's other ways to solve equations. You can do this all algebraically by manipulating the two different equations. Um, there are methods where we can substitute and methods where we can eliminate. And that'll be algebraic ways to solve these. But I think it's a good one to start with to uh, solve, them algebra uh, to solve them graphically for two reasons. One, it's good practice graphing because to do one problem, you have to graph two different lines. Um, and two, um, it's visually, it just kind of makes sense, right? You've got two lines, they cross, you're looking for the intersection point. All right, now there are a couple special cases. What if your two lines were both parallel? 
okay? Like, uh, like example A here. Well, if both lines are parallel, well, are they ever going to cross? No. No. So what you're going to say is you look at that, and when you see that you have parallel lines, you just write no solution. Okay. Now, what if you have a line, and then when you draw the second line, it is literally right on top of the first line. Okay. Now, I've drawn them just very slightly apart so you can see them both, but what if the two lines are right on top of each other? Now, every single point on the line is infinite. Right. So it's going to be infinite. We abbreviate that INF solutions. Basically, any point that is on either of the lines would satisfy both equations. So you won't get just one neat solution. Okay, so that's that's example B. So those are these are the special cases. Okay. All right, let's go to the next screen. Um, okay, so um, we're not quite ready to start here. Let me go ahead and put arrows on these. Okay, and again, this is x, this is y, this is y. You got to at least indicate what you're counting by. So again, let's count by one. So I'm just going to go ahead and put in a two, uh, a four. Whoops, that was weird. I'll go up to 6, and I'll put my 0 in, and I'll go over here to 6. Okay, that's enough, right? That's the bare, you know, and I can put a couple tick marks in the negative part, too, but I don't have to. All right, so this time I'm going to give you a little bit harder equations. I'm going to give you equations that are in standard form. Uh, so for this one, what I'd like you to do um, for the green equation, you don't have to color code these, but we'll stick with that because it works pretty well. So let's start with x minus y equals negative 1. And for our red equation this time, let's use 3x um, minus y equals negative 5. All right, and the first thing we want to do for both of these is get them into y equals mx plus b form, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so what we got to do is we got to solve this for y. So I'm going to add y to both sides to get the y by over here on the right. And if I do that, and I'm, why don't I just go ahead and add 1 at the same time? Okay, so by adding y to both sides, it cancels out here, and the y moves over to this side, right? And by adding 1, the 1's cancel out and moves over to this side. So I end up with x plus 1 on the left, and I end up with y on the right. Now, if that's in any way confusing, do it in two steps. All right, so this one has a y-intercept of 1 and a slope of 1. So I'm just going to quick go up 1 over 1. I'm just going to get all these little diagonal points right here. Okay. And, oops, right there. And I'm actually going to use the line tool to make this. I think the line tool works a little better to actually get a good line. All right, and so here's the line. Oops, that was going to be off. Let's see if I can get that right. That's closer. All right, and pretty much, well, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, it's a little bit off on the top side, but that's going to be good enough. Okay? All right, now let's do the red line. Again, you've got to change it first. So let's add y to both sides. Oops, keeps doing that. Let's add y to both sides. And when you do that, you're going to get 3x uh, equals y minus 5. Now let's add 5 to both sides. And we're going to get y is equal to 3. I've just switched the sides here. So it's actually 3x plus 5 equals y, or y equals 3x plus 5. Okay, so this time the y-intercept is 5. And the slope is positive 3. Now, I don't have a lot of room to go up. If I go up 3 over 1, I get one point right there. Okay. Um, so I'm probably better off going down 3, left 1. So go down 3, left 1, down 3, left 1, down 3, left 1. And you're going to get these lines right here. And again, let's use the line tool. All right. And so let's go ahead and start the line. Or come right down like this, and this time, where do they cross? Uh, negative one. No. What is that? Okay, so you're going to count back two units. One, two to the left. You can't see the, um, I don't know why there's, that's a weird number. Oh, that was supposed to be the zero. That was the zero that goes right oh, here. okay, so it's negative okay. two and negative one. Right, so the point here, the solution point, ignore the zero that was there from before. It is negative 2, comma, negative 1. And again, if you put both of those, the, those values, put uh, negative 2 in for x and put negative 1 in for y, and sure enough, you'll notice that both of these equations check, so that's my solution. Okay, I'm not going to actually walk you through the check right now, so we can keep the video under 10 minutes. So that's it. So how do you solve a system of equations? You graph both lines, you see where they cross. If they come out parallel lines, they're never going to cross, so there'll be no solution. If they come out to be lines right on top of each other, like in example B, you'll get infinite solutions. Okay, well, thanks for watching. That's all we have for you. See you in class tomorrow.